Hey everyone, Lost with Jerry back again. I forgot to tell you guys something. I end up, um, after I did the video earlier, I end up running into three of, used to be my friends. Alright, and the three used to be my friend decided to holler at me, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Y'all know how Lost with Jerry is, man. Y'all ain't been talking to me or saying nothing about me or. Didn't want to have nothing to do with me, period. You know what I'm saying? But I had three guests that came up to me. Oh, man, you're doing YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Hey, man, uh, help a brother out or help a sister out, you know, stuff like that, you know. And that would really get on my nerves because now you see what I'm doing. It took you that long to see me on YouTube channel to see me what I'm doing now. I'm doing something good for myself. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying my best to do something good for myself every single day and one of my homeboys told me that it would happen and he was right it did happen all right so uh man a lot of people will find a way to get with me or use me in any kind of way man and i realized that now i do and it's been happening to me uh since today you know and they see what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? But just like I told them, they can do the same thing. But there's nothing they can get from me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to happen like that. You know, because I'm only doing a YouTube channel because I love doing it. All right? I enjoy doing it. You know, um, <clears throat> just like I said, <clears throat> I would never got involved with YouTube unless my homeboy got me into it. You know what I'm saying? He helped me out with it. He helped me get started with it, you know what I'm saying? And that's the only person that that really means so much to me because he's been helping me out a whole lot with my channel. With my channel, you know, buying me a new car, buying new shoes, buying everything, you know what I'm saying? So I don't never ask for stuff like that at all, you see what I'm saying? But he ended up buying it because he wanted to. Okay, but friends that supposed to be your friend is not your friend because most of them is, is out there to get what they can get out of Lost with Jerry. You see what I'm saying? And that's what those three people, when they approached me today, and that was kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? I just said, hey, move on. You know, move on out, out of here with that because uh, it's not happening. You know, if you want something better in life or good in life, you know, just go ahead and do what I'm doing or, or get a job or whatever it takes. You know, just like I said, I've been working since I was in high school. That was back in uh, 82. I started working. The year 82. And I'm tired, you know. But I see a lot of them out there ain't doing nothing, ain't trying to do nothing, ain't trying to motivate themselves, get themselves up, and keep themselves going. You see what I'm saying? So I kept myself going. I kept a, a good head on my shoulder, as you would say. So far as me working every single day you know what I'm saying I love working every day I got another 10 years I can go and retire so I can say I did it you know what I'm saying I, can, I did it because I thank my father 100% that he told me the only way you were making in this world if you continue working you know what I'm saying make some money uh, find a way to retire and and put that money away into your retirement plan and then that way you can go ahead and retire and do what you want to do. But <clears throat> my father didn't live very long after he retired. You know what I'm saying? He didn't. He got a chance to enjoy <clears throat> his life throughout the whole years. But once he retired, you know, he started traveling around the world and stuff and driving around and stuff and going to visit family, cousins. But he kept going all the time. You know what I'm saying? So he kept himself on the road, kept himself busy going fishing or either going hunting. And one thing about my father and CJ on, CJ on 32 grandfather, they was best friends, all right? His grandfather and my father, they both was best friends. And they used to go hunting all the time, you know what I'm saying? They used to go fishing all the time. And they used to do a lot of good things together, you know what I'm saying? So, man, that's the same thing I see me and CJ is at right now. You know, we do a lot of good things together, you know? We hang out with each other. <laughs> and, um, man... It's just a good thing. It's just a good feeling, you know. And, you know, 
my story with his his story my story is a little bit different than what his is you know i went through a whole lot of crazy stuff back then coming up you know a lot of weird stuff you know that's happening and stuff like that you know but uh I found my way out of it, you know, I found my way to the light to see exactly what's really going on between life, you know, when it comes down to me, and, you know, I can't sit there and say I'm a 100% good person or 100% good father, you know what I'm saying, but I am always there for my kids and my wife, you know what I'm saying, and when it comes down to my brother and my sisters, I ain't got no problem with them at all, you know, I'm there to help them out as much as I can, so... You know, but, you know, after my sister had passed away, you know, between me and my brother, we did pay for her burial, her funeral, and all that stuff like that. And same way when my other brother had passed away, me and my brother took care of all of that. So, after my brother had passed away, my oldest brother passed away, you know, he took care of all of his own, of his own. You know what I'm saying? So he had everything of his own. That same way as Lawsuit Jerry. Something happened to him, you know. Lawsuit Jerry would take care of his own because I got everything taken care of because I've been taught by the right people. You know what I'm saying? The right people taught me how to take care of business and, and take care of that little bill, you know. And because you don't want to be put anywhere at all that you don't want to be. You want to be put. Sorry about that. White, white boys riding down the street in the go car. But uh, anyway. I will be 100% with myself, whatever it takes to give, you know what I'm saying? And I will take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? Because you guys motivate me, you know, pushing me, making sure everything's getting done. So, just like I said, I will be um, getting a lot of other stuff done, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't stand these kids out here, man. They making so much noise out here riding down the streets in the go car, you know. I don't think I need to... A police officer to ride down through here and catch him on that bad boy because you can't have him on the streets over here. All right. So um, anyway, just like I'm saying, you know, everything is doing good. It's just that people come up to you, wants to get whatever they want to get out of you because they see what you're doing. Okay. I guess they looked it up. That's fine. You can look it up. It ain't gonna hurt me at all. But you know, I ain't seen you in years and years and. Every time I do see you, I speak to you, you ignore me. You know, you look the other way. You turn that cheek the other different directions. You see what I'm saying? So, there ain't no way to sit there and hate me. And then next minute you see, okay, his, his subscriber is moving up higher, you know. I need to be with him. I need to be in the video with him. You know what I'm saying? He need to help me get started. And it doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? Because the, it took one person to, to teach me that because... Uh, a lot of people will find a way to use you to build themselves up. So, you know, but they want you in their videos all the time. So, you know, I ain't got no problem helping nobody out. But during them years by seeing you, you didn't want to say nothing to me. You didn't want to look my way. You just turn around and walk the whole different route. And now you see what's going on now and you want to be that close. You want to be part of me. No, it's not going to happen. I can see a big old letter U on that forehead. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> man, it's just been messing with my brains all day. You know what I'm saying? Because when it happened to them, I'm like, man, why, why would they do that? You know, and I got to thinking, I'm like, well, CJ told me it was going to happen. You know, I should listen to that guy 100%. I did listen to him. You know what I'm saying? But... It just happened. So I know how things go. So my point is that since I got this car from CJ on 32, you know, I'm going to take care of this car. And the car will be in the garage tonight because I ain't taking no chances with nobody <clears throat> out here. Even though I got a camera sitting on this bad boy all night long, but I prefer to have my baby in the garage and put away. And I can go to the garage in the morning, get in and go to work with no problem. You know what I'm saying? So it, it won't be that hard to do. It'd be very easy for me to go ahead and do it anyway. So, man, it's just a rough feeling thing that's been going on, man, I tell you. <clears throat> but just like I said, tomorrow, uh, Saturday, uh, Friday or Saturday, 
the car would be going into the shop and get fixed, you know, they have for maybe an hour, I sit there with it, you know, and and get the bad boy back in my hands, you know what I'm saying? Because I want nobody to keep my car for a whole day for no, no reason at all. So, I just need my car back right away, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I get it there, you know, early in the morning, it'd be done less than an hour or two, that's fine with me. <clears throat> but a whole day, no can do. See what I'm saying? So I gotta have a backup before I can do anything like that. So, but I am looking for something else different, you know, a cheaper uh, pickup truck for the winter time to drive back and forth to work. <clears throat> because I don't want to drive this car to work every day and put miles on it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to keep it in good shape. So I can be adding money to this car while it's sitting up in the garage or whatever. And I can be driving my pickup truck going to work and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I can make a little extra money with a pickup truck, you know. I can haul scraps and stuff like that, you know, make a little extra change, you know. And because I used to do that about, what, three years ago, I used to have my own pickup truck, a Dodge Ram. Um, yeah, Ram pickup truck, one of them big boys. And I used to do a lot of scrapping in that truck. I used to make a lot of money in that pickup truck, man. I think I was making like $280.00. Less than a week, you know, that was good money to me, you know, and 280 bucks I didn't have in my pocket, but I made that kind of money, you know, and, and buy food or whatever I had to do inside the house with, you know what I'm saying, and I kind of missed that, so I will be going back and trying to find me a cheaper pickup truck and, and start making some little extra money with it, you know, because I need that kind of money, just like CJ on 32 said, he needs a pickup truck to haul his cars. I need to pick up a truck so I can haul scrap and junk, you know what I'm saying, something beat up, something raggedy that I can go to work and come home with, you know what I'm saying, so I am trying to do that, you know, I got a little money saved up in my savings account and stuff like that, thanks to CJ on 32, you know, uh, man, you know, I put money in the, in the savings account for that reason, you know, because I want to make sure that I can get that vehicle, but if we ever get to the point we need money really fast for food or anything like that, and I can always go in my account and get it with no problem, see what I'm saying? And take care of the family. But I just want to explain that to you guys, man, that people that you ain't been seeing in a while don't want to be your friend no more. And now they see what you're doing, you know, now they want to be your lovey-dovey friend and all that bull crap. Now that ain't happening here, you know what I'm saying? And I can put it like this. It's a one-way street, man. Head on down that road. Don't even turn around. Don't even look back, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not going to happen. You see what I'm saying? So, don't forget to hit that notification bell, man. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button, you know. Get get that bell ding ding. Let's let's get it ringing, man. And if y'all go to my uh, subscribe channel, y'all can see how many people that's on there, how many people I got, you know. And and with the views and all that stuff like that, it's like 447,000 views on there. I mean, it's pushing, it's kicking, you know, it's doing its thing, man. Always give me thumbs up. And watch the video from the beginning to the end. Never fast speed through it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if you don't feel like watching the video, hey, just let it play by itself. Put it on the couch and walk away, you know what I'm saying? But help a brother out, you know, get my watch time up and everything. And, and let's make everything a little bit better and different, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I appreciate you guys from coming in with me and stuff, you know. Come to my channel, man, and supporting Lost with Jerry and the 32 game. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing but 100% love here to you guys. All right? Uh, my homegirl, Joanne Double E, you know what I'm saying? TNT Life, you know? And, um, man, there's a lot of you guys out there, man. It's so hot right now outside, man. It's like 90-something degrees still at night. Supposed to break down to 70-something degrees tonight. Supposed to get a little rain tonight by in the morning. But... Then again, it's supposed to be another hot day tomorrow. Man, it's been a number of beautiful days out here, man. A number of beautiful days. But I can't wait till the snow hit the ground and the cold. Because I can't wait for it to come. I'm a winter person, not a summer person. This hot stuff is just tearing me up. My stomach and everything else, man. This heat just messed me up all at once. But I am in good, great shape. But, man. So like I said, my third two game loss with Jerry gotta get on off of here, man. Gotta get back inside the house and relax, man. Take me a nice shower, you know, and 
put on my pajamas, lay down and watch TV or something, you know. I'm trying to watch a good movie, see something I can rent, you know, something good. The Equalizer, part one, part two with Denzel Washington in it. That's what I want to see. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch part one and part two. And then once I get done watching, maybe I'll go to sleep. You know, but like last night I was sleep about, what, 12 o'clock? I was up at 4 o'clock. So, I don't get much rest like I used to. Alright, so, I thank you guys out there. I thank you women out there, you know what I'm saying? I love every last one of y'all out there, man. I appreciate y'all 100% number love, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Lost with Jerry gonna get up inside his house and relax and do his thing, man. And just like I said, I appreciate y'all. 100% man, just like my homeboy Double E would say, 100%, that's right, because uh, that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying, y'all my family, y'all my two gangs, you know, and I appreciate every last one of y'all, alright, third two gang, Lost to Jerry, peace, I'm out and I'll see you another day, love every last one of y'all.